Hey guys, now, welcome back to my channel, and I have something really interesting here. This is the 5-inch toothpick on 2207s. Now, I tested this yesterday on 1606, which seems to be a size that makes much more sense. Uh, and I jokingly said uh, I would have to throw some 2207s on there to make it fly as well as a regular or feel as locked in the air as a regular 5-inch quad. And the funny thing is, Kebab FV, the, the original creator of the toothpick, suggested to do just that at the same time to put some 2207s on there. And at first I thought he was joking, um, but he was actually serious to put some lower KV 2207s on this 5-inch toothpick because, I mean, this will probably not break the board because simply this small battery won't supply enough amps to kill this 80 amp rated, rated board and these are lower kv motors so these are emacs eco 2207 1900 kv motors so this could actually work i mean sure being below 250 grams all up weight will be completely impossible now but this could perform very well so i'm really curious to try this out i'm outside right now at the spot and it's slightly raining so i hope the weather will clear up and i can give this here a test flight and see how this handles and really see if i can get rid of this kind of floaty lack of control that many very light five inch quads have by using by simply using these very very heavy motors in comparison to the rest of the quad so one of these motors roughly weights as much as the frame which is completely insane but i mean why not it's really worth a shot so I quickly threw together this, I mean, you can see the build is pretty messy, but let's see how it works. So it's still slightly raining outside. I'm trying to fly a 5-inch toothpick on 2207s. This just feels kind of insane, but... I mean, it's all in the name of science. So let's give it a shot. After starting my okay, I just had to wait for the truck to pass by. Engines disarmed. Engines armed. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay. Oh, this. I mean, I'm very careful. You can see my throttle percentage here. And I won't fly very far away because I might have receiver problems um, because I'm still sitting in my car. <laughs> but hey, this feels pretty good. And now my goggles are fogging up because I didn't use the fan. Now it's running. Okay, this is good. I mean, okay, concentration. Uh, okay, this feels fast and it does feel pretty locked and controlled. This isn't bad at all. So I'm really going slow here, not pushing the throttle much, just testing out the limits. Now, it'll punch out and <laughs> this is not bad at all. Seems to be pretty damn good. <laughs> and this just feels like any other 5 inch in terms of how locked and in control it is. But you can feel that it's kind of light and very nimble and reacts very well. And I mean, it seems to be pretty efficient. I mean, it's, it's cold outside and the batteries were super cold. And I'm like, I did a minute and a half now. Still at this around 3.7, 3.8 volts. So I'm just, I mean, sorry, this isn't very beautiful flying because I'm really just trying out. But this, this seems to work. <laughs> this really seems to work quite well. Now, let's give this thing some full throttle punch out. And this doesn't feel super fast. This is probably because of the lower KV motors and I'm starting to get water on my lens here. Rain might be getting worse and I don't want to break my electronics so I'll probably just get this quad in. Okay, I'm at two minutes. Still some juice and a battery left. I mean the flight characteristics are pretty good. This thing handles way better than on the small motors. I mean sure it's oh there's a truck. Quickly get some distance. This 
really isn't bad. And as you can see now, three minutes. Batteries are still fine. Let's just test out how far I can go. Um, although I really don't see much anymore because of so much water on my lens because of the rain. Let's just see when, how far I can take this battery. I think it's pretty much empty now after three minutes. It's still a 3.7, another truck. This might be a stupid spot to be honest, also my car is getting super dirty with all the, all the dust. These trucks are throwing up in the air. Right, 320. Still going strong. I'm sorry for the shitty flying, I just really don't care right now. I just want to know how this quad handles. So I'm really just flying back and forth on this road. 330. Okay, starting to get some low battery warnings. I mean, this is pretty ridiculous. and uh, It seems to work. Now, I'm just wondering if 2207 is actually necessary or if I could go slightly smaller like 2205 or 2206 and whether I could go higher KV because I'm slightly missing top end here because these full punch out aren't very impressive I think the motor is just maxing out its RPM limit and it's kind of dictated by the lower KV and <laughs> still four minutes now I'm, I'm actually starting to get low now or 3.5, 3.4. Think I yeah I have to land it now. After four and a half minutes, that's pretty Attention impressive. Whoa! Oh, and it's seriously raining. I have to get my quad. All right, guys. As always, back inside for the tech talk and. I mean, of course, I put some 22.7s on this build here. It's gotten pretty heavy. It's, let's check this. I think it's like 100, 220 or something. Yeah, 226, which is still pretty impressive. I mean, my lightest 5-inch with 22.7s or 22.7 plus to be precise here is this Gate Hunter Evo frame, which uh, build, which is 250, so still almost 30 grams heavier. So it, it's quite light for how it is, but let's stop talking about weight because all the ultralight sub 250 story is off the table for me now because it seems to perform way better on bigger motors and lower KV. Now, probably I just went way too far here. 2207, 1900 KV is, is probably too big of a stator and too low of a KV because I was missing top end, but still up to 70% throttle, I would say this thing had really amazing flight characteristics. It felt just super in control, extremely in control, one of the best I ever tried. Now, efficiency also was pretty good. I mean, 850 mAh 4S is ridiculously small to power a 227 motor. Usually you would take twice as much, at least, if not going for an 1800 mAh 4S. So, seems like pretty good efficiency. I mean, okay, I wasn't flying very aggressively or very fast, but it was four degrees Celsius outside, which usually doesn't help the performance of lithium batteries at all. And still I didn't have too much trouble to get over four minutes. So this points towards very good efficiency, probably, and at least from what I can tell and my experience, this is handling very well. Now, I think I will have to find some sort of middle ground between these tiny high KV motors, which were pretty inefficient. I mean, if you saw my last video, I got low battery warnings after just 30 seconds. And I thought this was because the batteries were too cold, but I didn't have that problem on the 2207s. And also the handling, while it wasn't horrible, as I said, it just wasn't nearly as good as with the 2207s. Now what I will do is try to find some kind of middle ground between these two extremes, and my bets are on 2206 sized motors, which are pretty uncommon. I mean, these are, there aren't much, I mean, it's either um, 2306 or 2207 and these sort of 2205, 2206 motor sizes 
kind of disappeared lately. But this Xing 2206, I think, comes in something like 2100 kV, so a 5S kV. That could be very interesting, or even go up to uh, 2300 kV. But that size and that kV range, so range, so a pretty standard, but let's say a lower end 4S kV could do the trick because this board seems to be really handling this abuse very very well and let's not for let's not forget this is a whoop all in one board that just survived 2207 motors that's that's mind blowing to me but i think what i'll do next is get some sort of in between motor as i said and do some more testing so it might take a little while before i do the next video just to just for me to get um, a new set of motors, but then I'm I'm very curious where this will take us because this looks like it can get a lot of efficiency and great flight characteristics at the same time. So let's see what the future brings. As always, guys, <laughs> I hope you found this interesting. And if you want to know how this five-inch toothpick story goes on, please don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.